Hi, I'm Andrew, an entrepreneur and a computer science student. Hi, I'm Raveen, a psychology major student. And you're now listening to the Ink Thoughts podcast, where we ponder and talk about incongruous thoughts ranging from our daily life to the human mind. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Ink Thoughts podcast. How are you, Vereen? What are you feeling today? <laughs> Hello. Um, uh, recently, I've not been doing much stuff because, yeah, you know, I, I finished my university and then, yeah, being unemployed. So, so I'm just trying to find myself a job. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. How, what's your feeling feeling for like, this period? Do you feel like a particularly an- anxious because like you're not, when compared to other people, you're not like employed? Like, have you ever fa- found a job or something? Do you feel some like, like that? Mm, to be honest, a bit, but I try not to compare myself to the others. Like, just tell- telling myself, it's okay, everyone has their own path, you just do yours. Okay, okay, that, that's actually very cool. That's actually cool. So, yes, um, what are we talking about today? So, we're talking about um, when should we buy time. Okay, so... Uh, have you tried buying time before? Actually, I believe you have, but I'm just kind of testing you and see what's your, like, through this answer, we'll know that what's your definition of buying time? <laughs> um, um, last time, I don't usually thought, uh, think about this until, until, you know, this topic, we decided on this topic, mm-hmm. then I think back to the past and I think, uh, maybe, maybe those, um, those time when I order delivery and, and, and because I have something else to do, I, I guess that's when I buy time. No, oh, yes, yes, indeed, indeed. Actually, even, even without you doing things, you're still buying time. Just that, I guess, you could have, you could have chosen not to buy time because, like, you still have the time there, I guess. <laughs> but maybe you bought, 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 bought some leisure time for yourself, like doing, having, mm. watching more TV, watching more YouTube or something like that. That's cool. Yeah, my, my, actually, uh, buying time recently, have I done that? Um, yeah, but, but I, 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 I would like to talk about, uh, an experience with, which I had because I, um, you know, when we are paying, paying for highway tolls. So basically we're buying time as well because we know that going through highway, it basically saves our time. Uh There's less jam or whatever. And there was a very long period of time. I, I, I couldn't accept myself paying two ringgit and fifty cents for a toll because mm. I like it's literally a very short path. When you go through that toll, it takes you like five minutes, and then I I, I feel like the, the two ringgit and fifty cent doesn't justify that five ringgit because oh, when okay. I when I pick you up, I it was like a thirty km journey, and then I just need to pay one single one ringgit <laughs> cents and toll. So like, that's totally okay, but I think there might not be other other options as well. Um, I, other options might, might add up like like ten minutes, but because um, the way I'm looking at it is like 30, 30 km for just one thirty mm-hmm. one thirty ringgit, so that's totally fine. And for this, what I'm doing is five minutes for two ringgit fifty cents, oh, okay. and that that five that that five minutes is probably. I think it's maybe like five km as well. It's actually not very fast. So, oh. uh, I I I couldn't I couldn't justify that that price uh justify that price. So, I I never actually paid that until until actually I I kind of changed my I changed my perspective in thinking that it's not really about like uh we are not actually paying for the distance. So we are actually paying for the time that we saved. So if mm-hmm. I don't go go through that highway. Uh, of course, occasionally there's still there's still no jam, but it will still take around ten minutes because it's just a a longer route, and then there's like more traffic traffic oh. lights and all that. So, uh, but with jam, it actually can take up to thirty minutes. So I was like, yeah, saving that twenty five minutes is very worth it, mm. and oh, especially it- if if you compare, you, if you think about, because like those are actually work hours, work hours, so. I am saving 25 minutes of my work hours. Basically, I get to work more. Mm-hmm. Uh, 25 minutes is like almost, let's say, let, let's just simplify, like it's almost half of an hour. So like imagine my, my hourly pay is like 20, 20, 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. And if I if I save that actually, so my, my 30 minutes kind of cost, cost me 10 ringgit. Like 
Uh-huh. Why why should I why should I save that save that two ringgit and fifty cents mm-hmm. so that I will uh, lose ten ringgit? So basically, I should actually spend spend this two ringgit fifty cents. Okay. I I can possibly earn back that that seven ringgit fifty cents, right? Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, okay, that, okay. that's basically the realization that I made. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. What, you what reminded you me that um last time when I was uh, doing my intern. So mm-hmm. I drive every day, right? So, uh, yeah. I actually when when I come back, usually there's there's a non yeah, tow route and with tow oh. route, and then, uh, and then yeah, the traffic is quite kind of bad. But I bad. usually <laughs> choose. <laughs> I usually choose the. I mean, I prefer choosing the the route with tow, mm-hmm. because first of all, um, it won't it won't just um. The traffic won't just stay stagnant there and won't move okay. forward. Like, and and after work you're basically very tired and you stopping there is. You just want to go back home. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, so I I usually prefer the one with toll. Although I need to pay, I I forget how much is it. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. But but okay. Um, what actually makes you um have that perspective change? Uh, I I think I actually had the. I had the realization when, because initially when I'm driving, I I drive that path, uh, actually that route, every single week. And previously, I I bring along one of my employee as well. Mm-hmm. So, and then mainly my employee is working for me. So when I'm in the car, I'm the one driving. Yeah, he's not he's not actually doing any work. So, uh, and I kind of realized that if I am wasting this thirty minutes. He, uh, he could if if I save this thirty minutes, he could uh, have just help me oh, work for okay. another thirty minutes, uh-huh. and then that actually that because I'm still paying him when he's actually in the <laughs> car, but then he's not doing any work, so might as well I just pay for that two ringgit fifty cents, and then we go oh, we okay. we reach our place earlier thirty minutes, and then I can fully utilize the four the four ringgit, mm. isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. so basically I kind of of course I spend two ringgit fifty cents, but then. I still get get one, uh, one ringgit and fifty cents value back instead of losing, uh, losing a total of four ringgit. Yeah. Because like, he's just not doing anything. So I kind of had that realization first before I, uh, before I I reached the 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 thought of like oh saving time actually because we are we are not supposed to compare the distance but in fact it's the time that we are saving. Mm-hmm. But still, it's a bit hard uh, sometimes because you 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 still can't know when the route will have jam or. Yeah. When the highway will have jam, but yeah, and de- depends on how how important the time is to me. Like like for for that that day or something, uh, then I will think I'll think whether should I take a risk by going going through the the toll road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because now it's like lockdown, so and yeah, I think I I I stopped driving to that place for like almost <laughs> a month now because of the lockdown. Yeah, and then yeah, because just because of the lockdown, there's less cars on the road, so it's been a long time since I last drove that highway as well. Um, but yes, uh, if we you know this, this, these are kind of like simple ways of like saving time. So basically, mm. um, it's it's not that expensive. It's it's not yeah, very yeah. very expensive, as in like we are not passing our our responsibility off to others. Yeah, you mean like outsourcing your work. Ah uh, yeah yeah we are not fully like outsourcing mm-hmm. an important work work to others but when you think about think about outsourcing work like because I, I I read this book about I think four hour work week it talks about so if you actually don't enjoy doing something because of course let's say your your life have a greater purpose you're mm-hmm. you're you're doing something better and but part of your job that there's just this part of your job which you just don't enjoy and. Because you don't enjoy it, it basically affects your whole job performance and then it affects in terms of affect your income as well. And if you can find find like uh someone to do that thing cheaper than your your like hourly pay, mm-hmm. you should you should actually just pay that person to do it for you because yeah, now it makes your quality of life better, you're happier, mm-hmm. and then it, it gives you h- uh, higher chances to improve. And yeah. improve your income, like get get higher income. What do you think of this? And then, when do you think you should actually take the step to do this? That <laughs> is like the main question. After that, yeah. Mm. Um. Okay. 
what I think about this. Okay, uh, actually, I did a little bit of research for this episode as well. So okay. I actually, I actually um read an article where it says that um we can easily do uh. I mean, spend spend out uh spend money for our time for to get time, um on our personal stuff, because it costs mm. little, but mm. it it's kind of hard for us to do it when it's in a business. Mm. Mm. But yeah, the factors behind it are are still we still need to they still need to figure out that they are not very sure about it yet. Yeah, and then and then like you say um working on some stuff that you don't enjoy. So I I I encountered the idea that you when you're working for a company is like you're selling your time to yeah. yes indeed actually yeah yeah yes so but if but let's say if su- the work is something you are pa- you you have passion in then maybe it's not that bad that bad yeah because you're making good use of that time you you're doing something mm. like, that you enjoy. And then, mm, okay. you're, so you're getting back the satisfaction, and at the same time, you get paid as well. Yeah, yeah, but 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 the thing is, like, even though, like, while well, still within our like your passion passionate job within your passionate job, there's still parts which you just don't enjoy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Like, like I'm talking about, like, what if you just like outsource that that part that you don't enjoy? Oh. Have you thought of this revolutionary idea? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I didn't actually thought about it, but I think if let's say in the future I have something like this, uh, and um, I can see that the cost of me outsourcing this is not as I mean. Wait, let me restructure. It's lower than your hour pay. Uh yeah yeah yeah, eh yeah mm. yeah. So basically, I'm getting more time to do stuff that I really enjoy. Instead mm-hmm. of just spending time on this, I don't mm-hmm. this stuff that I don't like. Then I guess I won't mind doing that. Mm, okay, okay, yeah. But when, like, uh, the second question, like, when do you think you will actually take this step to do this? Mm, okay, this is a hard. That, question. That's that's another thing, right? Like, you you know you will do it, but but when when are you comfortable in doing like? In cases like, because especially, let's say let let's limit limit you in a in an office environment, which you are, uh, you're you're doing a job where maybe you are doing something that you're passionate about, but there's this part about researching which you just don't like. I'm like, God damn it, I need to read so many things. <laughs> yes. Uh, how 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 would you take that step to maybe outsource this researching part to other people? Oh. Wow. Well. I think, well, to be honest, I I can't think of any possible way because I I no I have the idea like uh the company is paying you to ask you to do this and then you're trying to outsource this to another person. Uh, <laughs> but how about you? If if it's you, what would you what will you do? In fact, actually, um, this is a a novel idea to me as well. By by the time I actually thought of this, uh. The, po- the topic of this podcast, I haven't encountered this revolutionary idea yet. It's revolutionary for me as well mm-hmm. because I I learned this from 4 hours a work week. They, they talk about this. So yeah, quality of life is more important because it indirectly affects your income and everything else. So you should actually do this. And then, but the thing about taking a step is, yeah, whether like yeah people is paying you like how what makes you so comfortable that you think you are the boss now that you can outsource your own work to other people mm-hmm. right isn't it um uh, yeah but then he he did say that of course uh he, he's he doesn't he's he, he's more of a rule breaker guy he doesn't like, oh, follow okay. rules and stuff so it's better for you to just do it instead of asking for permission but yeah i think certain certain things i you 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 know your limits. Let's say this is a company secret thing. Of course, you probably no. can't do this unless you can. And um, but that would be another case. Okay, let me focus on my previous thing first. So basically, um, if you really don't like this thing and it's it's actually something okay to 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 be outsourced, like it's not a company secret or whatever, you can literally just find like uh, assistance. 
virtual assistants from like other countries, mm-hmm. third world countries like Bangladesh, uh, India and all this. And they can literally do quite well for you because he has like three or four virtual assistants to assist his life, his work and quite a lot of stuff. And then he even have a virtual assistant manager, which oh, wow. is a virtual assistant as well. So that's like all this kind of virtual assistant has, they have different pay. So like lower class work is basically cheaper and then the, the manager mm-hmm. will, will definitely be more expensive. But then with all this, it saves him a lot of time. Mm. It saves him a lot of time to do on the things which he really cares about. He even outsourced things like paying bills, yeah, like Mm-mm. doing regular yearly yearly tasks like buying flowers for Mother <laughs> Day, everything, all this stuff. Uh, yeah, all these stuff are all outsourced to them. Mm. He he does check, but he just checked it monthly. So basically, check the month uh, the, the the bank account. Like yeah, everything is fine. And there's no no weird expenses or whatever Mm -hmm. that that popped out like not your assistant like using your credit card for other other non-essential reason then he's actually fine with it so yeah it's actually a very novel idea for me and i never thought of doing things this way Mm. and uh yeah basically he talks about just do it before asking for permission because ultimately your company is don't doesn't want you to do your things Mm -hmm. he he if 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 there's a if there's a company that just want you to do your things, um, that's probably not the company that all of us want to be in because being a company is about growth. Yeah. Like if I can find ways to make your company grow better, why wouldn't you want that option? Yeah, yeah. So even like if if the uh, supervisor doesn't accept that, basically, uh, it's not really uh right. Uh, you, like the supervisor might not be the right right person to to be in charge of you and mm. if you can't change your supervisor or whatever maybe it's better for you to leave the company but yeah so if we talk about the second case where it's it's actually a uh, a company secret or whatever he- heavily guarded something like that I guess um, it's something that you still can negotiate with your supervisor mm-hmm. so you can talk about of course uh, uh, negotiating basically uh, would will let you know what's your position as well because you you can't basically you can't negotiate to to move this uh to outsource this work if it's 80 percent of your work oh yeah true. if true. it's like 20 percent, then it makes sense yes you can't just like 80 but if it's 80 percent, basically that is what your your title your your career title uh means yeah i believe that that's directly connected to your career title but if it's like a 20 percent, 10 percent, it's of course something that you can outsource and you probably can discuss with the supervisor saying that yeah, I, I, I'm thinking of like outsourcing this mm. to someone. Of course, maybe uh, I will. And uh, okay, because it's a company secret or something. So maybe you can talk about. So maybe you can start start with a one month trial and then by deducting part of your pay or something. So uh-huh, okay. S- yeah, was, we are we are negotiating with equal means. So like the company is not losing anything or something. And try it out if. And then, like, give it some, some, some terms, some uh, not actually terms, uh, so some criteria to in in not really criteria actually, what what's the word I'm supposed to say? Basically, um, you can set one month after one month if you actually increase your performance, then maybe the company should do this permanently oh, and okay, maybe okay. remain your 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 original pay. So like you're paying two two person now like. And you're just focused on the thing that you're supposed to do instead of, uh, uh. Instead of including this 20% of the task. So uh, negotiating is an essential skill. So it's like it's from mm. four hour work week as well. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, he actually said that um, we should just do it when we we find that yeah, it's actually within our means to do it. So basically when your income is definitely higher a lot higher than, than the cost of outsourcing this, then you uh, should probably just uh, do it. But of course, uh, by doing this, because we're outsourcing to like virtual assistants and all this, yeah. there, initially there will be a learning curve and you will spend some time initially trying to, to teach find that person. a... Pardon? What? Teach that person? Ah, uh, yes, teach that person and then kind, kind, kind of find a culture between you two because um, you need to make sure that whatever they research is the right thing, whatever yeah, they yeah. do is the right thing. So yeah, there will be some learning curve in the in in the in the beginning, but actually after that, 
everything goes well and then you are saving you are saving time to to increase your performance and in turn you will actually get maybe monetary rewards in yeah in in the future so yeah basically this like opened my mind to uh when we should spend time for money basically when as long as when our skills are capable of paying us more yes. than we uh than the cost of doing doing this low skill job we should probably outsource it Mm, okay, I I do uh, uh I do agree on that point, but but I I have this question so it will pop up. What if mm? after we outsource our work and then and then we didn't get, uh, I mean we ourselves didn't get an improvement or. Uh yes, of course that's that's something that you need to reflect on already because you the 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 reason that you actually outsource that 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 thing in the first place is because. You know that you don't like that thing, mm-hmm. and then whatever and all the other stuff which are working on is something that you enjoy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why you are supposed to spend more time on doing the things you enjoy right now. Of course, in there is two perspective, two two perspective in this. Of course, when you're negotiating with a company, you can't just say that oh, because you don't want you don't want to do this, so you outsource yeah. it. Uh, if you want to do that, I, I don't think many company will allow that. But of course, it 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 can comes with trade off where it will be like maybe you definitely need to accept a lower pay, mm-hmm. or actually I think that's the only trade off. I can't think of any other like okay trade off. Otherwise, you probably get fired or something because like yeah, the, 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 like the, yeah. like they think uh it's better for me to directly hire that person instead of you. Uh yes, probably probably. <laughs> So, uh, but another case where let's say you're self-employed or something, maybe it just uh, maybe it's okay to do that without growth because some 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 things you basically maybe you are just freeing time for leisure. Mm, yeah. Then it's okay. You're you're freeing time to explore more, like getting more experience. Then actually, that's a that's something that's perfectly fine as long as it's within your means and it's okay. Uh. I think I think if it's self-employed, everything it becomes so it becomes easier because everything is under your control. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But. Of course, um, I, um, I, I believe there still be there. You might not grow directly, so um, initially you, you, outsource this task so that you can fully focus on another task. You, uh, f- let's say for self-employed, because you are more in control. May I believe they still care about growth when they're outsourcing one thing. Yeah, they usually have growth in another, so. It might not be, uh, they might not be growing on the task which they originally wanted to focus more on, but they might f- put that time for some other task, mm-hmm. which like a hobby or something which they they want to be better in. Yes, yes. Yeah. Like if we do talk about we, there are people who just like pay to, um, pay like like buy buy time just to to enjoy. Like, mm-hmm. like actually, a lot of people, I, I, quite, quite a lot of people, they just get food delivery because they're lazy. Okay, me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, I guess if if it's within your means, it's actually okay. But some some people are just like they are literally spending most of their income on on all these deliveries because the delivery charge is quite high. So mm. in that case, I believe it. It's not something that makes sense. That's why I I came with the the title. When should we buy time? Yeah. Yeah. Those are per- perhaps not the time where you should just spend spend for 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 the time because, uh, I believe there's there's a certain there is a the certain max uh maximum threshold maximum threshold yes maximum threshold for our leisure time. We shouldn't just like. Uh, in indulge in too much leisure time or like too much enjoyment, too much gaming and all this kind of stuff. So, mm. uh, above that, those are actually in excess. So, when when you are buying time for all those excess leisure, you might as well just spend those time and just like walk down and just buy food or even just like get groceries and then just cook. Yeah. So, yeah, those makes more sense. Yes. And yes. in cases like outsourcing work. Like like what like what I say, I think twenty percent, ten percent, that's okay. But depending on what's your objective, so you do need to know that uh, I've taken this path. So 
take I the reason I take take this path is to make myself grow better mm. in a particular in direction. Yeah. And so yeah, you need to work on that. And of course, if you are trying to outsource eighty percent of your work, like eighty percent of one one main <laughs> one main thing, then maybe I mean like eighty actually eighty percent of of all your work to one one person basically one person can do 80 yeah. percent of this thing then maybe it doesn't make sense anymore mm-hmm. maybe you are not supposed to outsource this unless maybe I, I do understand some people they are outsourcing 80 percent of the work to many people because that is a combination of low skill works oh. then maybe it makes sense because for some self-employed it does make sense that they do a lot of things including mm-hmm. low skill uh, work yeah. but the the reason that they're self-employed is because of the 20% which they they use that 20 the 20% is maybe thinking and 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 actually growing the company mm-hmm. something like that so those are perhaps the more important part so if they can maximize that to 50 or even 70% of the time uh, and outsource all the rest of the job to other people then uh, their job or their their work will actually their, their company will actually grow better so mm-hmm. I think in that case, Yes, maybe they should they should buy time. So basically, so basically, it's like um your investment of that money um actually made worth the cost. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because yeah, as a self employed, initially when you started out, you have li- well, everyone have limited time. We only yeah, have twenty four yeah. hours. So, and you're self employed, you can't really pay. Uh you are yeah you have you have limited money you can't pay for a full-time employee and all that that's why outsourcing certain tasks mm-hmm. uh which actually take most of your time then yeah that that makes sense that mm-hmm. totally makes sense i think uh, but um, yeah like it doesn't make sense like if 80 percent can be done by one person like one virtual assistant then there's no point in outsourcing that i believe that maybe that is your that is yeah. your job but if 80% can be done by five of them, so it's like five different tasks, then mm-hmm. yeah, maybe those tasks really took too much of your time. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. But I, I guess, I guess, but, but I guess still, still quite, so quite a lot of people nowadays still can't really accept the idea of spending money uh, in exchange I, of time. Actually, uh, this is an... This is actually, I think, because we are, us as humans, we do we usually only do things when other people do. Mm-hmm. Like imagine 10 years ago, uh, okay. how many people actually actually do food deliveries? I don't know, but pretty like less. Even when food pan- <laughs> like, like even when Food Panda came, came out, there's actually not many people doing it. After, it's only after incentivizing, then they started started using it Mm-mm. because like it's convenient and everything of course so uh this virtual assistant thing one thing is that uh it's not that popular i guess it's not that popular and then there's actually a few issues that about trust and all this mm, which yeah. people can't can't overcome like 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 handing your credit card to them which yes, is something yes. uh, which sounds risky but according to tim ferris the author of for our work which he says it's actually okay because of course uh you you need to uh, in, instead of like directly finding a virtual assistant you can you can find companies which actually do that ah, so okay. they already handpick the best and of course there's different companies with, with different prices so if you want better ones you just pay for the well, the one that that's more expensive mm-hmm. and then they are of, of course they, they come with better quality as, assistant and then they have all these ethics and all this data protect, protection within the uh they are a virtual assistant, assistant because some of them they actually they are only allowed to access their da- their their clients data in the workspace so mm-hmm. it's they are not actually working remotely they have to work at one place so um yeah i believe there's all these kind of factors which which prevents us from doing so and mm-hmm. yeah people generally are just not brave that's mm-hmm. why yeah. you you don't start out doing doing this but but do you think do you think um, that's this one belief that most of us have, which is um, we we need to protect our money. <laughs> um, protect our money. That dep- 
depends. I actually don't. Maybe in an Asian perspective, yeah, mm. that we, we, we do care about saving and all this. But Western, not really. But they are just not many people are exposed into mm. this, yeah. this, this thing. And then you, 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 uh, people might care about how other people think as well. Like, like wow, why? Who do you think you are? Like, why are you getting a personal assist- assistant? Right? Yeah. Like, who do you think you are? But in fact, today we are getting multiple pers- pers- personal assistants. We have calendar to help help us schedule many mm-hmm. things. Like we just plot plot things onto it. Like it's basically an assistant that helps us to remember, yeah. remember or 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 our work. And then when we actually send out invites through Google Calendar and all this, it's kind of like an assistant as well. We just inform another person mm-hmm. to remember about this thing. And then we have mm, what other stuff? Uh, yeah. Sometimes some some people even go go further into like getting catering service those are kind of like your your personal assistant ish where they just took care of your your daily daily lunch or dinner mm-hmm. yeah those are actually personal assistants they're just branded in different ways so uh personal assistants sound like sounds like something that's very classy ish but in fact we are actually using it all the time and then as as your time becomes more valuable you just need to find find when when yeah when we're trying to increase productivity or be more efficient we are actually finding all this personal assistant personal assistant to do things for us Mm -mm. and yeah just they are not called personal assistant so (laughs) they doesn't sound that classy but when we talk about real personal assistant people might just care about how people other people think that like wow who who do you think you are why are you getting a personal assistant all that so yeah that that's that's what i think Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so so our question is what when should we buy time? So ah, okay. Actually we should dive deeper into that and from me perhaps from our own perspective, like instead of when should we buy time, let's talk about what t- kind of time should we buy right now in our position. In our position. Yes, like in in, in your position and in my position we can like just Maybe if you start in your own position, mm, like what what position. kind of time is worth it for you? Uh, I think that let's say, wow, well, it is a bit hard in my position. I have like, plenty of time now. No, <laughs> okay, 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 but uh. Well, if I start, I I I think I can. I, let, let, okay, never mind. I think I'll, I'll just start first, and then uh, you just take some time to think about okay your yep what time is worth it. Uh, like like what what time is wor- uh worth your money right now? So for me, because I I do run a business, so of course I init- I started off actually doing everything myself, not thinking that I need a. Uh, need a, a worker but then actually uh, after that i got one and then i really found out how much time mm-hmm. i have freed out basically the whole week i am totally free like, to do things but at that time uh, <laughs> i kind of wasted most of the time like because i'm just like too free mm. yeah but if i had the time actually i i literally i i think i save 80 to 90 percent of my time like i i what i need to do like basically just guide Initially, it, it did take some time. It took like a week to teach that worker on onto the full workflow, doing mm-hmm. everything. But afterwards, yeah, he can probably do most of things. Sometimes he just come in and ask me about how uh, some critical problems, which is not uh, part of the the usual as uh, standard operating procedure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I, I'll just answer it. So, uh, yeah, that's that definitely critical. And then uh, it actually saves. It saves my time and then it doesn't cost cost that much. It's like, it's probably only like 10, 10 to ten to twenty percent of the profit. Ooh, okay. So yeah, like the thing is, I'm saving like eighty to ninety percent of the time. So with that that amount of time, I can actually easily get back get get this money back from other sources or even like thinking thinking ways to improve my company in that way. But actually, I I didn't really uh work on improving my company <laughs> yeah just like yeah i'm I'm, easy, I'm quite easy going with 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 this business so yes so that's actually one thing that i i 
I am okay with spending. And then the, the total thing which I talk about, and when you think about this way, I'm okay with like spending like thousand thousand few thousand thousand dollars on a on a worker but not on on a toll which is very funny actually yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes like so i guess yeah sometimes our our we need to really work on our perspective yeah like viewing things in the in in the right perspective like not not in the right perspective but we need to learn to view it in various different perspectives only to find out which one is the right one mm-hmm. but in my case i i i don't really enjoy Food delivery. Food delivery is not a thing which I think is worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because um, yeah, because of my the, the, the convenience I have in my area. Basically. Yeah. It it does take like 10, 10, 10, 15 minutes for me to, to get the food instead of just like uh five minutes. Uh let's say we talk about food delivery, like you just get it from the door, you take out and then you prepare a bit. So that's like the five minutes there. Um, but because of the convenience, I think 15 minutes is still fine for me, especially considering that all the food delivery option isn't as cheap as yes, yes. what I have within my my like 15 minute uh, 15 minute radius something like that. So yeah, it's a, uh, so overall, if I if I add up add up the delivery cost and the and the food the food price it might actually cost like more than more than the it actually cost more more than two of my lunches mm-hmm. combined yeah, so yeah. i think it's more worth it that i just just went i hit for a takeaway other than that yeah other than that ah, actually there a subscription as well actually mm-hmm. subscription in fact is actually buying time so a uh, certain subscription like actually sp- um spotify in a way you can say it that way it's it's i guess it's both saving time and quality of life saving time and quality of life so okay. uh it because you don't have you quality of life mm-hmm. because you can make sure that you listen to the music which is good Mm-mm. unlike when you let it play randomly on youtube yeah uh, so and then on youtube you might have ads of course you, there might be like uh, ad blockers and all this but recently they've been working less well I guess like the mm-hmm. YouTube just find ways to make it be- make, make the ads appear more prominently in different ways so uh, yeah because you are able to increase your quality of life mm. with less time okay. with less time yeah because on, on YouTube you can still achieve the same amount of quality of life but through YouTube it takes more time to do that yeah. Unlike on Spotify, which you 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 take less time, and then YouTube is you have to do it every single time, so the amount of time you actually stacked up ends up costing a lot. Uh, okay. uh, so basically, that in turn just doesn't mm, just isn't worth it. Like, and actually, like you can talk about like even Netflix and all this, but Netflix and Disney Plus is not it's still not the thing for me because I don't spend a lot of time watching uh, those content yet. Uh, mm-hmm. I I can't. At least for now, I still can't. I I can't find myself spend uh like putting out thirty minutes a day just for like those uh TV shows. Mm-hmm. I only okay. like spend like maybe two hour a week for a movie, so I am still not spending for that. But I understand for some people, if you're actually spending thirty minutes for a show or something, it makes sense for you to like just go for Netflix because you can actually find a good show there. Yeah, yeah. Very fast. Yeah, that 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 basically saves for time. Um, but if I talk about this, I I actually did talk talk deeply about this this personal assistant thing. But I'm mainly mainly stop at the gate when I think about how people think it. Oh, okay. and then I think about like, yeah, like what are the things which I'm comfortable in in outsourcing, and especially you, we don't want to like keep outsourcing things which are not continuous. Like we don't outsource one small task, one small yeah, task, yeah. one small task. It's where if you are get getting a personal assistant because the the learning curve is actually yeah, a thing. Yeah. You want to make sure that that it the learning curve can be long, but if it's long, you have to make sure that this the thing which is learning will will help you for even longer time. Yes. So or, you or don't waste you, your time actually yeah, teaching yeah. that 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 assistant. So 
uh, I, I haven't have something that is so constant yet that mm-hmm. I need to outsource it. And sometimes uh, there's this thing about value as well because now I'm actually creating YouTube videos and one thing which I struggle a lot is actually writing the script. Mm-hmm. But uh, of course, I can consider outsourcing that. But the thing is, the value within my YouTube video comes directly from the script. Yeah. Like the idea comes from me as well. I can't I can't pass on my idea to the person to write it out. Yes. Right, yes. isn't it? Yes. The there is no efficient way to transfer this mm-hmm. idea yet. So if I were to hire a, a script writer and then I still I, I still want my idea there, it would take me a lot of time to to convey that, that correct idea and then check again and then make sure that uh, sh- the, the writer edit it the way I want so in turn it probably didn't save much time for me yeah or, or you might be mm. spending more time like you want because you want a good good video uh, to turn out in the end so you might need mm. more time to actually um, synchronize yourself with that idea because it, it doesn't yes, come yes, directly yes, from yes, you yes. yes exactly yes exactly but yeah uh, yes but Probably other aspect like editing and all this. So editing is not the core of the video. Yes. So that is okay. Like uh, other small tasks like uploading. Maybe research is fine. Research like let's say if I have a topic which needs some research. Those mm-hmm. stuff are still okay. But as of now, I'm not at such a scale which I need those yet. So yeah. yeah. And then of course, obviously, my, my YouTube isn't generating any income. So it doesn't cover that yet. So uh, mm-hmm. that's why I think... I, yeah, I'm not spending spending time for that yet. But maybe in future, yeah, I'll probably do that. And if we we have more general topics, of course, I can pass on the script to someone else to write. Mm, yeah. yeah. Basically, that is my perspective on when should we buy time. When mm. should we buy time? Okay. But but I guess in Malaysia, one one very easy thing to. Uh, it's actually traffic jam like spending tolls and all this kind of makes sense because <laughs> yes <laughs> traffic jam is like just terrible terrible yeah <laughs> okay for me i think okay uh food delivery is not something for you but it's something for me because um i know, can understand your perspective because i know that your area is not very convenient and yeah if you were to travel out to even a a, a cheap option out there it, it takes quite a lot of time yes which, yes doesn't make sense anymore yes. because of traffic jam and it's a long journey. Yes. You, you need time to go and come back and then time waiting there for your food to be prepared. And so, yeah. Yes. So I might as well just choose food delivery. And mm. of course, I, I do understand that the delivery fee can be quite expensive sometimes. So I actually calculated and find out that I'm affordable for that. So yeah, why not? <laughs> but, mm-hmm. but, it's, but I'm not like... Uh, ordering it for all my three meals every day so i guess it's still considered acceptable yeah, yeah it's fine yeah. it's fine yeah like, you're not just you're, you're you're actually not doing for the sake because you're lazy uh, like you're just lazy or you, you want to like just uh like lazy at home watch tv or something so i guess that's that's okay you're transferring the time to something that's yeah, more yeah. worthwhile yeah and then and then sometimes it might it might cut I, if I want to go out and buy that, I, it might uh, cut my time into, uh, like, I mean, a few sessions. Like, uh, initially, I can so do... So, it, it will actually in, in, in interrupt your, your your workflow or something like that. Yeah, because because you, you, you usually you go out during the lunch hour and then maybe you have something you're doing and then it interrupt your flow. Because, mm, because I might need a lot of time to, to do that. Yeah, I understand. And then one thing, one thing that I just thought of is that, uh, I think it's it's when the lockdown started, like last year. Mm-hmm. Um, it makes me feel more uh comfortable with buying stuff online. Just basically, um, if I can get it online and the fee is affordable for me, then I'll just mm-hmm. get it online instead of going out. Because mm, I'm yeah. still the same. I, I might still need some time to travel and get the stuff. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, but but yeah. The problem, I guess, the problem is delivery. I, I for for shopping online mm-hmm. shopping. The I guess there's still a trade off where maybe it's like the same cost, but it depends on how urgent you need it. If oh, you yeah. need it urgently, true, true. it still can't. It still can't replace yes, the urgency yes. because 
it still takes a few days to to actually yeah. arrive, unless like it's like very expensive goods. Yeah, yeah. So if but actually other than that, I I I thought of something like we can actually pay for like like at least for laptops and all this. So those are actually considered buying time as well. If you're buying it, uh, especially in high computational workload, uh, mm-hmm. editing like engineers when they are doing like their 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 modeling, their their generating, uh, CAD drawings, all this. A better computer, of course, save their time. Yeah. Like, even though it's it might just be minutes, but imagine if you are making a lot, you're you're doing that many times a day, that mm-hmm. actually saves you a lot of time. And then in the long term, one single year, let's say you work five, uh, five, you save five minutes per day over a week, and then it will be actually twenty five minutes, and then over a year. That's twenty five. Wow, that's actually a lot. <laughs> Let me calculate. Fifty two times twenty five. That's actually one thousand three hundred minutes, which is equivalent to twenty one, twenty one hours. Mm-hmm. So that's almost a day. So it actually saves a lot. Like imagine you're just you're like just spending another two three thousand. That actually makes sense. Yeah, that actually makes sense. But yeah, and of course, like laptops norm. Usually, don't just break one year, and even if they yeah, break yeah, one year, yeah. it comes with the warranty. So, yeah, mm. those are actually spending for time as well. Mm. And but yeah, you you were trying to say something, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm trying to say that um, uh, what makes me think that when when uh when I should like buy time is that because because to be honest, uh. At at the current state, I sh- I still have plenty of time, but I believe if I would want to buy time, I would consider the the time that I got back. I mean, I mean, the time that I buy um is is some. I mean, I can spend it in a good way. Like mm-hmm. I I I know that I'm going to do something that is. Yeah valuable instead of just wasting it or else why why would i want to do so yeah because basically like, like what we said just now like there are people who are just like spend spending spending money to buy time for excess leisure which in in that uh like in that case it's actually not it, it doesn't make sense for them to yeah. actually spend that even unless they are really rich which oh, means yeah. that they are they are their pers- their personal they are Personal value of time is actually very high. That mm-hmm. that's fine. Probably they are, they those watch having more leisure actually generate more creativity for them, mm-hmm. which in terms like earn them millions of dollar every single month. Then that case is different. But it, if they are, if they actually spending for excess leisure and then their income is actually not that high, they're spending like all this, all this money to and uh, they're spending like eighty percent of their income to buy time. Then probably no. Yeah. Probably. Yep, doesn't make sense anymore. No. Any other? Oh. Um, Any other time that would you that you would like to buy? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think that's all for me. Mm, okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm trying to think if there's like something. I'm. I'm not sure if we can relate this to. Is there any short term short term time that we should buy for for a better long term purpose? Can you think of any? I'm 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 wondering if there's something that we missed out on because I know, I know that there is a lot of human are quite bad at visualizing visualizing long long term things. Yeah. Like, example, education, and then there is actually um, medication, medication or like, yeah, basically health, uh, physical health, mm-hmm. all this. We are generally quite weak at visualizing them in the long term, so we tend not to spend it now just for a long term purpose. Mm, true. But is there any money that is worth spending now, like just for like some long term thing? Mm. Buying time. Buying time. I do know that investing, yeah, investing oh. like you should start it young, but then that, um, that doesn't really call buying time. That is just something that you have to do it now. Yeah, you yeah. Can't, like, you can't. I guess you can buy buy back 
time by putting a larger amount of capital Mm -hmm. into your investment at a later age. But the thing they they say that you should start compounding young is that, yeah, basically you, like two person with the same income for that, uh, for for the whole life, if a person started like five years earlier, and that another person started ten years earlier, and but with double ca- double the amount of capital every every single month, I think the 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 person that started ten years earlier will still ha- end up with more capital. So yeah, yeah. I guess it still I, I doesn't. Think I, Unless, I like, saw that yeah. example before. Yeah, like basically the 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 power of compounding is very yeah. strong. Unless unless the person that that entered the market late can actually create more value within the 10 years, mm-hmm. which is possible. So mm-hmm. because value creation is better than investing in value value um, uh, value growth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Basically, if you know how to create value, it's obviously better than mm-hmm. just yeah. putting money into something where the value will grow because you are in control of the value. So, yes, yes. Yeah. But that's no, that is not related to time at all i think <laughs> <laughs> that's about value creation okay and then i think in this, ca- in this case then we should uh, wrap, wrap up. up yeah okay so when should we buy time in i believe it, we just need to know first our income our income so how much it, it makes sense to, to to spend spend our income for time but not too much of it and then the time that we we bought, we need to make sure that we are actually spending those time wisely. Yes, like yes. Very wisely. We are not supposed to like just waste it to like so we we are spending those time because we feel like sitting on the sofa for another thirty minutes. In that case, yeah. no. Like it the, doesn't make the sense. value you get is greater than the cost. Yes, 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 yes. Of course, like yeah, maybe I guess actually, yeah, there's something like this like I guess long term is equivalent to the long term mindset is equivalent to hiring a a virtual assistant because mm-hmm. you invest it now and then the amount of time that that compounded over time, which in- includes your your effort into making making something valuable in the future, will actually pay off greatly mm-hmm. in the future. Something like that. yeah, my mm-hmm. my my, my sense is terrible. Uh, my sentence sentence right <laughs> basically yeah whatever you spend down com- uh, compounded over some time together with your effort will create something so valuable that will be like multiple you know multiple times more valuable than what you're paying right now yeah yeah so but that's something that i still can't view yet because of the effort yeah, yeah. the effort thing mm-hmm. yeah because i actually thought about this thing about value like sometimes you're just buying a possibility, you know. Like in this case, virtual assistant, you're buying a possibility as well. Of course, you're you're buying time and a possibility. It saves you time, and then it gives you the possibility to be someone, maybe thousand times better. Mm-hmm. It just depends on how you execute that. So it's not a guarantee. The guarantee is actually a time. It will definitely save you time, but the possibility is something mm-hmm. that you need yeah. to act on. It gives you an easier easier path to actually do that. Yes. When 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 we buy for something that actually there's there's these two things. So there's a something that will actually uh the the value is actually there and there's another possibility which it's there. You want do you want to act on it? If you do act on it, yes, it will it will happen. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. Just basically, yeah, we need to know our means and then whether we can pay within our uh we can we can actually afford it if we can afford it and then you can actually generate more value with that amount of time that you're buying sure go ahead yeah, yeah. and then probably in long term you can you can, it will be multiple times more valuable yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but but, but, but i think we have to un- remember un- understanding yourself is actually the toughest part yes, yes. Everyone just need to work on reflecting, yes, reflection. Yes, yes. You just like sit down and think like, yeah. So do I? Do I? If I actually spend on this amount of time, would I do something better? And how yes, do yes, I yes, ensure yes, that yes. I will do something better? Yes. And that's something important for us to think. Yeah. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, that's the end of this episode. Do you have any insights for the week? Um, I don't have any insight for this week. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, I don't have a particular insight, but uh, don't have like something that I came out on my own. But I was watching a movie summary, and then I just uh. I actually forgot the movie. Give me a second. I'll just switch it up. Just switch it. I'm giving you two seconds. Very quick. Uh, nonsense. I can't search with two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Um, very quick. Oops. Um, this one. Yes. The movie name is called The Prize Winner of Defiance, Ohio. Mm-hmm. Prize winner of Defiance Ohio. It's a t- 2005 uh, movie. It's actually quite cool. So it's about a a family, uh, a family of ten child and then and ten children. Actually, ten children. Why did I say child? <laughs> and then the there's a wife and then a kind of abusive father ish. Okay. Like semi abusive. Let's say it's it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But semi abusive. But the mother is very very positive. With uh, and she handled many things with a smile, even when the the husband is being abusive. There's only one time where he actually shouted at the at the husband be- when 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 he's being as- abusive. Yeah. So then one of the daughter actually when when one of the daughter grew up, and uh, she she actually talked to the mother and asked the mother, "Why are you still staying with like my dad?" Because like, he's being so abusive. And how do you like, can you be so positive around around him? And then you can like, just smile when things happen. The mother just just told, told her that yeah, it's easy to be both happy and angry. But if you choose to be angry, you feel even worse after that. So mm-hmm. why do you want to go down, go down that path? Just mm-hmm. choose to be happy. Like it's a, it's actually a long term mindset as well. So you think about like further in the future, it feels great when you're giving you're you're ex- expressing your anger. But then, like after that, if if you make the condition worse, it just doesn't feel that good. Like for a longer period of time. Yeah, yeah. Because if you feel, uh, if you're trying to be positive for this short while, of course maybe later you 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 talk to someone like you just to want to give give um. Just you find someone as an emotional output and then just like talk about it, like you're happy, and then the and then the condition actually doesn't get any worse. So yeah, generally, it for uh, if you look at the long term value, it's actually better. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like it's something in heart lah. Like even for me, I have to work on that. But yeah, I, I it, it just make it totally makes sense to 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 do this. It totally yes, makes sense. Yes. Just like, we are very we we. But with using our long term mindset. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like a lot of things we we kinda just need to think of like train our long term mindset. Mm-hmm. Keep training it. Keep thinking long term stuff. Like is if I do this in a longer term, would it make sense? And and, and another thing is I guess we are just we are fearful of the unknown. So sometimes like something that people never done before, we just don't try to do it. But as long as you're, you're, you will be responsible for it, I guess you can just try it out. There's no, there's no harm in, in trying it out. As long as you know that you'll be responsible. Because you know that the previous way doesn't work. That's why you're trying out the new way. So yeah. it's worth doing that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I guess that's it for this episode. <laughs> okay. Thanks everyone for, for listening to this episode. And see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast. If you enjoyed, do share with your friends and family and leave us a review on the Apple Podcast. If you are not using an Apple device, you can leave a review on the Apple Podcast website with the link in the show notes. If you have any feedback or thoughts which you hope that we'll discuss in the future, feel free to email them to us at hello at inktots.com or alternatively, you can send us a private message on our Facebook, Instagram or Twitter with the username of in Tots Pop. Thanks again, and see you all next week. Bye bye. Okay, actually, I, I like your intro a lot. This this for this episode, your intro for this episode is very nice. What what, very what did I say? <laughs> positive vibes. I actually forgot you you. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I also forget that. I just, I just know that's positive. It's like, it's like something, like, like the, f- the, the food in Penang, which I forgot how it, how it tasted, but I just know that it's good. And when you mm. go back to it and taste it again, it is, you just know that yes, this is exactly as good as last time. Mm. So, when, when you, you, you have the same intro in the future, I'll just know that yes, this is as good as last time or even better. So there's something that I can just like know, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like unconsciously, I guess. Something it, it matches with one, with one of the experience, but then you just like can't can't f- yeah. can't find it, can't figure it out. Something like that. Anything you want to say? Um, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In this case, then yeah, I guess we'll we'll end this session here today. And I still okay. have a video to record, and then there's a few things to edit. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's end here then. Okay.